Have you ever wondered why some of those low carb foods are just as hard to quit as sugar filled ones? Becoming a doctor has a particularly grueling season we call residency. It was then that I got addicted to coffee creamer. You thought I was gonna say the coffee itself, that caffeine, but it was the creamer that got me. Something else was luring me in inside that creamer. The answer is casein. This milk derivative was a secret ingredient hiding in my beloved creamer. It seemed innocent enough, but it breaks down inside your gut into something called casomorphin. The name alone should give you a hint about what's coming next. Casomorphin. That sounds uncannily similar to morphine, that powerful painkiller that's really addictive. That's not a coincidence. This imposter does not reduce folks' pain, but it does cross the blood-brain barrier and trigger their pleasure centers. Repeatedly dosing morphine gets patients addicted and in a cycle of craving that drug. Casomorphin does the same thing. Another offender is an ingredient that can sneak up on you in those low-carb foods, making them very irresistible. I'm talking about the artificial sweeteners. That's right, just because you're not adding to your carb count for the day does not mean that those imposters are not doing their best to hook you. Research shows that these sweeteners enhance your appetite and craving for sweet foods. Yeah, that zero calorie sweetener does reduce your calorie intake at first, but eventually leads to higher intake of these foods. Let's talk about something else you've surely heard about, something many people try to avoid, gluten. It's usually the first suspect I think of when patients present with abdominal pain, diarrhea, or even a slumped mood. Besides finding them in keto bread or wraps, you can also find them sneaking into things like soy sauce or beef jerky. Well, when gluten is broken down inside our gut, it forms a group of proteins called gluten exorphins. Notice a rhyming theme here, exorphin, casomorphin, morphine. Exorphin is short for the exogenous morphine-like compounds. Similar to casomorphin, that toxin from my coffee creamer, these gluten exorphins can tickle your brain's reward center, creating a feeling of pleasure, extremely addictive. So the next time you're obsessing over this low carb product, remember to check the ingredients because they may have put things in there that you did not bargain for. It's not just about counting carbs. It's about taking a closer look at what we're putting in our bodies and what it's doing to us. If you are having a craving for food and you wondered, are you addicted? Yeah, I had that thought too. I took a quiz to figure out, was I addicted? <laughs> Check it out in this video.